Hey everyone, today we're going to do a crappy jig for you. Um, it's a new old pattern. And what I mean by that is it's a new one that I'm doing um, to try out this spring. But it's sort of an old pattern, but it's completely new because of the material and the paint. And I'll explain that. Um, a friend of mine, Alex, he's part responsible because uh, we were conversing uh, through email. And he asked me about the powder blue color. And when I, everything I did that was a light blue in color was usually done with Robin's egg blue. And when he talked about it and then showed me a picture of a jig he did with that color, I was like, yep, you know what? I know exactly what I want to do with it. And uh, before I could do it, some other material came out. And now uh, we got a, a, a blue colored crappy jig that's different than my other ones but it really is an, an older pattern it's just more or less one of these revised deals and again i'm blabbering uh so i'll stop and get right to it in the vise we have a 1 16th ounce minnow head jig it's got a size 4 victory 11 149 uh, sickle style hook and the color in this is powder blue. Uh, the color of the pattern is called blue minnow. So we're going to start here with a little bit of super glue brush on. Just a little bit along the shank. And we're going to use uh, white 140 to near flat wax nylon. You could use 210, as I mentioned before. I just like using the, the lighter thread for my crappy jigs because I, I'm i used to it because I tend to do things in layers. So we end up uh, <coughs> with some buildup. So in this case, we're just going to use the 140, and that's kind of what I like to do. So I get my base down to about the, the point of the hook. And we're going to bring it back up. And the first thing we're going to do is add our tail material, which is going to be saddle hackle. And it's a color called silver doctor blue. Uh, I really like this blue. It's almost like a kingfisher or a fl uh, fluorescent blue. So I just take the tip section. I already cut it uh, to length. But you you want this about, you know, and that eh, might be a little bit big. I'm going to have to cut this down. Um, but you want it about a, a, an inch, and anywhere from like an inch and a quarter, an inch and three quarter, depending on um, your preference and the preference of the fish in your area. Um, I know depending on where you're at, sometimes, uh, the bait fish are a little bit bigger, different types of bait fish. And that makes a difference as to your, uh, tail length. I play with all different lengths. Um, cause sometimes, you know, I could take the same jig, the exact same pattern. One might have a longer tail or maybe a, a thicker tail depending on the material I'm using and one wasn't getting any bites and the other one is. So uh, you could play around with the length, but for me, it's, it's like that inch and a quarter, inch and a half, somewhere in there. Now we're good. And then now just make sure I'm straight with where my tail is and once I'm happy with it I could start cranking it down pretty good a 
Okay. Our back up. We got our tip in. And now I'm just going to take some V's that I cut. Um, I can't really give you a link. You kind of got to eyeball it. But I like the ends. I like to use the back end of the feather. Uh, because the tines are, uh, or barbs or whatever you want to call them, um, are longer. See, now this time I didn't get it quite straight. It's longer, so you get it to go to about the middle of the, of your tip. Boy, it just doesn't want to go on there for some reason. Now, I'm not going down all the way. I'm going to turn it over and put the other V. If I can ever pick it up. Boy, am I struggling today. I apologize. It looks pretty good. It took me a little longer than normal. Now... The next thing is our flash material, and I'm using pearl blue or blue pearl polar flash. And what I did is I took two strands, lined them up, and cut them in half. So now I got, and we're going to make these almost as long as the tail. You could make them as long as the tail depends. Again, that's that's another thing that's personal preference. You know, I know guys that like it a little longer than the tail. I know um, myself, I like it a little shorter most of the time. Depends on the flash material I'm using. Okay. Well, even the flash is giving me a little bit of a fit. That's to be expected every now and again, especially when uh, you're sitting and you're tying a bunch of them. Sometimes you go on autopilot and uh, then you run into something like uh, maybe uh, the flash is, has a little kink in it or something and it just throws everything out of kilter. This is one of those. And again, it's the other half of that. So we have two strands cut in half. So what we end up with is four on each side. And then I'm going to go all the way up and then bring it back down. And now we're going to use one of my favorite kinds of chenille is this cactus chenille. And this is a color called minnow blue, which works perfect with this. You got a little bit different shade of blue in the head, the chenille and the tail, but it's not so terribly different uh, that it stands out. It actually looks really natural. 
At least I think it does. So I'm going to get some of the little barbs off of our chenille here to, for our tie-in point. And we're going to start wrapping. Now this cactus chenille, you want to preen back these little fibers just like you would if you were uh, tying a feather in. Any kind of hackle material like that where you want to preen it back, you do the same thing with this cactus chenille. And I'm just making a couple extra wraps here at the head um, just to get a little bit of a taper. And we'll trim it. Get as close as we can without cutting the thread. And with the way things were going there for a little bit, I thought I just very well might cut the thread. Now, we're going to whip finish it. Two, three, four, five. By the way, there's no rhyme or reason. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, as to how many wraps I make with a whip finish, it I could do three, four, five, six, doesn't matter. I just do what I feel like at that time. So there's no uh, there's no science to it. There's no other reason other than just like the wind blowing. Whichever way it goes, that's the way it goes. We'll get a little bit of water-based head cement there. Wipe off my bodkin, and then I'll show you what we have. Get our little clamp. And there is our blue minnow. I, I think this is a really nice pattern. I think it's a uh, supernatural, and you can see just a little bit of a little bit of color contrast, but nothing out of whack. It, it looks like something you would find in nature. How a minnow would be. Um, I don't know what all the, all you people out there think of this, but this is one of the ones I really, really like. So uh, let me know what you think. Give it a shot. Thanks for watching.